Hello and welcome. My name is Sarah Turner. Having worked hard to design this plan new planning module, I look forward to showing you how easy it is to review, edit and submit a budget or forecast. You access the new planning pages from the target and forecast page by choosing Go Green as the department. You will get to this screen which should be pre-populated with a full set of numbers. So it could be a budget, a forecast or a target in your chain of property, but they all work in the same way here. We will use a rolling forecast starting in April for this walkthrough. It covers April 21 to Jan 22. For today, I am Head of Maintenance Department and responsible for energy, so that's the page we'll look at. At the top, we show the main relationship or formula used in this page. So the energy forecast is equal to kilowatt hours of energy from Go Green multiplied by a price per kilowatt hour. Know that each of these symbols is repeated down here in the main data table where you can see the underlying data. But we have a couple of chart summaries first. On the left is usage per guest night, a central metric according to the International Standard for an Effective Environmental Management System, 14001. It also serves as a productivity measure to show against a driver. From this chart, it's clear that July looks unusual, so I know I need to check July carefully. Then in the main chart, we're looking at the energy forecast in the blue bars, and we can change to look at just the kilowatt hours. The purple line shows the guest nights go to zero in July, so we do expect minimal energy levels in that month. Now we come to the data table with all the numbers used. Here we can start making changes. I want to check out July and give it a low energy use. So first we have the forecast energy cost for each subtype, but to edit, I need to go down into the quantity or the price. So the quantity is the kilowatt line is a snapshot from the live forecast, but I believe July is too high for the electricity. So I can click in and add a new value. And then the unit price. This is estimated from some of the PL data already in PMI. But if I as an energy manager know that this year the electricity cost is predicted to be high over the summer, I should change these values. I'll make a large change which should be easy to see in the charts above. And then finally this section called comparative data. This is simply what the main chart is comparing your plan to, i.e. the grey bars in the chart. And it was also used to, to estimate the original unit prices we've just been overwriting. The description here says this data comes from Actuals 2019. So this is set up as part of the initial planning, sort of setup of this version done by a controller responsible for planning in the property or chain. So I'll save my changes and just see if the charts look better now. I could also switch to another resource if I'm responsible for that and use it in the same way. Once I'm finished, I can update the forecast in the relevant cockpits by pressing this submit button. Note it is details from the last forecast submitted that will appear as the volume targets in the energy cockpit where I monitor performance regularly during the month. And there it is, finished for this forecast round. Hopefully you will find it easy to review and edit your department forecast next time. If you want to understand more details around this screen or the calculations used, please check out the planning section in Knowledge Base or ask Pia, our chatbot service.